to the speaking test of EBUS Center today. So could you introduce yourself? My name is Jenny Lozong and my English name is Tina. I'm 13 years old. I live in a, an, a, an apartment right. near here. Um, in my free time, I like to play games, listening music, or crocheting. Okay. I don't like um, hot weather and spicy food, and I like sweet food. Sweet food. Okay, that's cool good. Weather. Cool weather. Cool weather. Yeah. Anything else? No. No. Okay. Good, Tina. Now, what is your favorite room in your house? Um, my most famous room is my bedroom. Bedroom, okay. Can you describe your bedroom? Um, there is one bed in my bedroom and there are two door doors. One for me, one for my sister. Mm -hmm. And there are a wooden table for me so, to study. And there is also a lamp. Okay, a lamp. Good. Seems to be beautiful. Now, what would and wouldn't you like to have in your ideal bed? Um, I would love to have a big bag in my ideal bedroom, and I don't like to have plants because they are not good for me in the night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Tina. And what do you always carry with you? I always carry my phone with me when I go out. Yeah. Yeah, your phone. So how long have you had your phone? I have had it since I was in grade five. Grade five. Okay. Very good. Now let's move to part two, Tina. I will give you some pictures, and they come with question. First of all, tell me what is he wearing? He is wearing a check. Okay. So. Good. And what is she wearing? She's wearing a spot a dress. Okay, spot dress. Now, what have they just done? Um, they have just come back from their holiday. Right. What has he just done? He has just won a competition. A competition. A competition, right? And what has he just done? He has just cooked a meal. Cooked a meal. Right. Very good, Tina. Well, you only have one part left, and I believe we'll do well in part three. Now, your topic for today is talk about at least two of the most important people or possessions in your life. And here are some instructions that you can follow. Okay, in my life, the most important things are my family, my friends, my phone, and my bracelet. Um, the first precious thing is my family. I was born and grew up here. My parents taught me the first lesson. I love to share happiness and sorrow with my family. They always support and comfort me. Um, even though my sister and I occasionally find that it doesn't matter. Second, my life won't be happy without my friend. I have four best friends. The longest friendship that I have ever had is with the um, I have known her for um, four years and the other maybe just four or two. They are important to me because we always exchange our life story. Our secrets or even things about our persons or hectares. We also frequently hang out together. Without my friend, my life is going to be very boring. Um, the third most, 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 I'm sorry, significant recession is my phone. I have had it since I was in very fine. Um, I usually use it in my free time for chatting with my friends playing games or listening music. Many photos of me, my family, my friends are also saved in this phone. It also helps me to save my password to my account. 
that for it. If I lose my phone, I will lose access to my account because I couldn't remember it. And the last person thing is my sleeper bracelet. Yeah. It's a present which my mom bought for me and my sister. I love it because it represents mom's love for me. That's all. Thank you, Tina. That was lots of detail right there. And I love how you deliver your information to me. It is in the correct grammar and perfect pronunciation. But next time, please increase your volumes a little bit, okay? So I can hear you clear. So that is the end of our speaking test today, everyone. Thank you, Tina, for coming to the And I say goodbye to our audience. Goodbye.